I realize I've never made a singular video on this topic. So, hi, my name is Dodi. I'm a musician and a writer, and I feel like I am dreaming all the time. I have a mental health condition called derealization, which is basically chronic dissociation. This is when your brain disconnects from reality as a way to cope. I've recently found evidence that this has just always been the way my brain has dealt with high amounts of stress. I went through a very stressful time around 2012, 2013. There were lots of different things that happened. I was kind of carrying a lot of stuff around with me. And around this time, I realized I had this uncomfortable sense of floating, not taking in as much as I used to, not being able to see properly, my memory being really bad, just like I was dreaming. I remember telling my boyfriend about this at the time and he was like, oh, it'll go away eventually. And it never did. I've had it since. I guess at this stressful time, my brain just decided it wanted to live in this disconnected version of life always. So that's been me. I didn't know what it was for the first five years and it's caused me severe depression and depressive episodes and at first I just thought it was that, I thought it was depression um, but as I'd come out of the depressive episodes I still knew that something was definitely wrong and something big was missing and then ironically that would pull me back into the depression. I got my eyes tested a bunch because I thought it was that. I have a separate rare condition that means that I might lose some vision so I was sure it was that but the tests were showing that I wasn't technically losing any vision. Um, I also thought it was just part of growing up and that's why people glorify childhood so much because it's so much more vivid but it made me so unhappy understatement that I knew it couldn't be normal. I found out the name last year um, during a mental breakdown and it was super refreshing to find out that I wasn't just going crazy and that it had a name and also that a lot of other people felt like this as well. And also it's the first step to treating it, right? Yeah. Anyway, um, I wrote a chapter in my book explaining this sensation to people who are curious, who have never felt it before and who want to know what it's like. Um, so I will read that out. You've just awoken from a 20 minute nap. Your eyes dry and heavy, your brain swollen. Noises are uncomfortable and cut through silence right through to the core of your brain. Time is wrong and confusing. Has it been a minute or an hour since that thing was said? It wouldn't be surprising if it was lunchtime or 4am. The film you've been watching at the cinema has just ended. The credits are rolling and suddenly you're trying to pull yourself back to reality. You exit the theatre and look around at your friends, trying to regain some familiarity but they're not the characters you've been empathising with for the past few hours. They're solid and real and, for some reason, weird looking. It's the hottest day of the year so far and you've been lying on a towel in the garden, staring up at the blue sky and listening to the sounds of planes, breezes and the ice cream truck. You get up to go get a glass of fruit juice, head inside and suddenly your eyes don't work. Your pupils are struggling to dilate in time and your kitchen seems as though it's pitch black. Even though you technically still can see, everything has lost its clear outline and your vision is filled with fuzzy specks. And finally, it's your turn in the loo queue at a party, so you stumble in, clearly intoxicated, and try to lock the door with numb hands. Your face is buzzing and you giggle to yourself as you turn around and slam your hands on the basin, staring at someone in the mirror. They have scary eyes and a red mouth that's curved upwards, creating wrinkles that sink around the smile. You comb your hands through your hair and they copy. So you make a face and their nose crinkles up, their eyebrows furrow and their eyes become blacker. Panic creeps up your chest as your mind struggles to compute the familiar stranger in the glass, their expression now turning cold. So I guess that's my best description of what it's like if you've never experienced it. But here it is in a kind of less poetic way. So the first thing I notice is my vision. It feels like it's vignetted and everything's too dark or way too bright. I feel at worst at places like Winter Wonderland or like Christmas lights because the lights against the black make it look like really 3D and it just really messes with me. Also places like shopping centres where the lights are really white and blue and bright. Secondly, I feel like I'm not taking in the situation properly. Like I'm not logging my memories in properly and that I'll forget everything, which I usually do. The whole of 2014 slash 2015 is basically gone and I can't remember any of it. Um, I can only piece it together when I watch videos and see pictures of myself. Boo. These cause obsessive thinking cycles because I'm always trying to feel more present and also I subconsciously ground myself by like scratching my arms or fiddling with like rough or sharp things. My go-to description of it is that it's like being drunk all the time but just without the fun tipsy side of it. This might sound familiar to you, you might have experienced this in times of stress. Derealization is actually the third most common mental health symptom after feelings of anxiety and depression. So last year in my breakdown I made a video saying that I had depersonalization. Um, since then I've realized that I actually just mostly have chronic derealization, um, which is when the world around you and your life is not real, which is 
me 24 7 literally every second of the day and depersonalization is when you feel like you and your body and yourself is not real which i do have occasionally now and again but mostly it's just derealization so here's how i am dealing with it firstly i'm not giving up on treatment i haven't found anything that works so far but I'm not giving up. I've tried antidepressants, which for me, um, I didn't get along with too well, but I'm open to trying them again after a bit of a break. I am, however, taking um, 5-HTP, which you can find at Holland and Barrett's. It's just like a vitamin. That is definitely helping my mood. I don't know whether it's placebo or whether it is actually helping with serotonin, but yeah, I highly recommend you trying that. Super helps with my depression. Doesn't help with my derealization, but it might for you. I've also had TMS treatment, which I've talked about briefly before, um, but basically it's transcranial magnetic stimulation. What? Sounds a bit freaky, but essentially it's like sending little electromagnetic pulses to the part of the brain that might cause the derealization. It's just like giving it a bit of a kick and stimulating blood flow. Hey mom, would you like to see something freaky? Uh. <laughs> Unfortunately, that didn't work for me so far. There's only a 50% success rate because they haven't done as much research on it because derealization isn't as well known about as, like, say, depression, which has an 80% success rate when it comes to TMS. But I think I'm going to go back and try different areas of the brain and also different frequencies and things like that. I also have my talking therapy, which I have every week or so. Also, I'm starting CBT on the NHS tomorrow. I have an appointment. I'm very excited. I'm open to that helping. It might not, and that's okay. Yeah, because number two that all being said i've learned to live with it it kind of sucks and it's taken me a long time to get here but i've worked really hard on not letting derealization bother me as much and practicing healthier thinking patterns of it's okay to not feel present and there's nothing i can do about feeling so spaced out right now so i'm just going to try and make the most out of this situation rather than feeling like every experience is terrible and finally um, if you suffer with this, like me, you're not alone. I bet there will be loads of people in the comments who are also spaced out all the time or who struggle with this now and again or all the time like me. Yeah, let's make friends. Share some tips, please. I would like some too. So that's about it. I've written some more tips on how I deal with it in the description as I mostly wanted this video to raise awareness and describe what it's like for people who have no idea of what this is. I still get depressive episodes from it now and again and also a little bit of social anxiety because it's kind of hard to socialize when you feel drunk. But currently I'm functioning well and that just goes to show that you can definitely get to a place where you will too. Like I said, I'm not giving up but I've definitely got to a place where it's not completely taking over my life and that's really nice. So yeah. Thank you for watching. I've also obviously left a bunch of links in the description and also one to my book where I talk way more about this and how it's affected me and how I'm dealing with it. And yeah, thanks. Cheers. Bye.